Utility Summit in the Leon Dance Council in Sweden. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity and ask you a few questions. So, as you know, the market sees the OT and IT as convergence as the foundation of the modern smart grid. Uh, in your opinion, uh, what do you think uh, it took a while before it got recognized? Thank you, Milan. Uh, I think there is a simple reason behind that. It's basically because when um, utilities uh, start news market projects, they soon realize that in the budget, the hardware counts a lot more than the software. So they normally perceive there is a side effect to that. They normally perceive the hardware side as much more important. So that's why worldwide you see many projects where the software side is looks like an after, afterthought. It's it clearly not uh, something like it was part of the original blueprint. So it took a while then to realize that actually you need both pieces in place and they have to be tightly integrated. Mm -hmm. and, uh, could you be able to uh, give some examples of OT and IT in action? Sure, maybe I can give you a couple of those. So for example at Ventix, um, we have a quite innovative product that is probably the perfect example to that point and it's called Asset Health Center and it's basically a solution that uh, enable our customers to do condition-based ba condition uh, maintenance mm -hmm. and it's really a combination of getting data from the field, from the hardware, from the critical assets and using a brain to understand and anticipate potential failures with these critical assets. Maybe another example might be uh, using forecast to enable being proactive uh, towards the grid. And I can probably mention an interesting project uh, on that topic. Okay. Um, can you give us some more details on this project? On oh, that project, sure. So this is a project that we're doing with a very innovative customer. And it was a pleasure working on this project with Eon Elnat in Sweden, where uh, we work uh, together with them on their next generation smart grid control center. And it's all about using forecast, which is really an IT technology, together with the grid and then allowing them to become, you know, moving from the reactive mode where, you know, you're sitting in the front of screens and you're reacting to alarms and, and, and blinks and becoming proactive. So being able to anticipate problems in the grid before they actually happen. Okay. Thank you for this information and enjoy the conference. Thank you.